Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. Today I'm going to show you how to open embroidery files, graphics, artworks, photos, bitmaps, all of those things that you want to open in the software. And we're going to do that right from our welcome page. Now, if you wanted to just create from scratch, you would use the create new tab and it would give you an open page to use for that. But if you wanted to bring something in, you might use the open file or the browse. So we'll start with the open file right here. And when you click on it to open, it's going to open usually to the last place you were at. And I am on a Mac, so it's a slightly different view than your PC. But the idea is the same. So on the left hand side, you would see your folders like in your PC. Here are my folders and the areas I can go. And I'm going to look at my desktop. And when I click on desktop, here are my subfolders, just like on your PC would be the same way. So I'm going to open up this folder here. And when I open it, I can see icons of my designs. And these are Jeff files here and draw files. I don't have any artwork files here at all. I can sort them if I wanted to, but this is oh, down here. This is where I would have my artwork files. They're all sorted like that. So, and I could kind of make it all embroidered if that's all I wanted to see or all artwork if that's what I wanted to see. So I'm gonna put it on all supported and I'm gonna select this Jeff file. And it shows me the Jeff file. I can only see one picture of it. Now I don't see pictures of my other embroidery files. And then I'm gonna click open. Now you could open any embroidery file just the same way by opening it uh, through the file folder and then just clicking on it and opening it to the page. Now, if we go back to our welcome page, my favorite way is to use the browse function. And when you use the browse function, uh, you have access to the USB stick that's in your computer. If you have a USB stick in your embroidery machine and you're connected wirelessly or by cable, you'll be able to see that as well and any designs you have in your built-in part of it. It gives you many more options that way. So I'm gonna open up the browse and this is why I like the browse so much. I can see all the thumbnails of both my artwork and if I add in my embroidery, I can see my embroideries as well. So it gives me more options, a better visual than open file. So you have choices. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open something up. This is a JPEG. I'm gonna double click and it comes right in here to my window where I will decide what I'm going to do with it. And I'm gonna open it and auto digitize it. I'm not going to open it as a backdrop. That would just leave it flat on the page. And I would use my digitizing drawing tools to work with it. So I'm gonna select okay now. I'm gonna leave my accuracy at five. My color limit, I would just count my colors to give my best guesstimate. So one, two, three, four, and five, and change that to five. My background, I can remove this background. And when I click background, I get an eyedropper because this white is not in my design at all. If this color was in my design, I would not want to remove it from here. It would remove it from there as well. Hit trace, and then it's going to be rendered to stitches. And now from this point, you could uh, save it or you could export it to your machine, or you can continue to work on it, change patterns, colors, anything you like to do with that design. Now going back to the browser, which I can see from the top here, I can open up other things as well. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna open up a photograph. This is a photograph here. It comes in as a JPEG. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna open that as a paint stitch and click okay. It'll open it right to the page, ready to go. And paint stitch is a thread work of art. When I select it, I have options over here. I can change my palette. Maybe I have thread that has more variations and colors. I could use that. Um, I could smooth it. I could blend it. I could change the brightness. All of that can go on. But what I can also do with the same thing is I could turn it to a photo stitch. Photo stitch renders it to four colors. And I have an option within here, which I love, is the monochromatic. So monochrome gives you this dramatic look of a black and white option a great way to go. I can continue to work with this and maybe I wanna make it a cross stitch. I can select here and within the cross stitch options, I have a palette change. I can change how many colors are gonna be in there, how many repeats, all of that can be done within the uh, option of your cross stitch. So once you choose, you have more things over there. And that's five minutes at a time with Artistic Digitizer.